Uh, hello. Oh, right. I forgot about these guys. Oh, man. Okay, I've been awake for an hour, but I wouldn't say I'm actually awake awake, so this is going to be interesting. Um, is there any other item I have that you need to check? No, 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 no. Okay, in that case, I will show him Galfrey's letter. Actually, you know what? Necticulous spoke well of you. She says hello. The old elf's face is as bleak as a porcelain mask. Her favour flatters me, and the memories of the times when I was younger warm my heart, but also fill me with other darker feelings, such as shame. It's sad to remember how foolish and self-satisfied I was back then, how much I enjoyed the fear and respect of the spawn of the abyss surrounding me, and how completely I belonged to the Lady in Shadow, who charmed me the moment we met. In those days, I was different. Alright. The storyteller's fingers touch the paper softly, his nail carefully tracing along the lines as if he can see them. The moon is peering into my window, the sole observer of my weakness, dressed in its quiet, almost as if I am the only one in the fortress at this hour of the night. I am alone, utterly, always. I pick up the quill and shake off a last drop of ink that threatened to fall on the paper, which would have ruined what is already my third draft of this letter. Why am I writing it? She will never read it. I falter, the quill poised over the paper, but my hesitation doesn't last. I don't know where you are, my hand writes. When was this? On the eve of the Queen's departure from Dresden, the following morning she ordered her forces to march on ice. Is Dresden ever that quiet? Unlikely, but I'm telling you of Garfrey's feelings as she was running this letter. One's perception of the outside world can vary at times. Please continue. My hand is shaking. My heart pounds in my chest like a bird trying to break free from its cage. My eyes fog over. I wipe a tear from my cheek. What is happening to me? Where did this feeling of guilt come from? Ha! Suffer it on it. Choke on it. Yes. As I said last time, I've become very vindictive since playing this game. I've always acted as duty commanded, always. A deep breath. I think the shaking has stopped, but the hand that's holding the quill can barely move. Forgive me. I write down the last words of the letter she will never see. Forgive me. Forgive me. What exactly was Garfrey feeling? Guilt or something else? I cannot answer that question definitively. I merely touched upon her thoughts, tapped into a faint trace of her feelings. But I can say one thing for certain. Those feelings were strong. The pain the Queen was going through was very much real. Thank you. There's only for gratitude. I rather think I should be begging your forgiveness. It seems I've inadvertently made privy to personal matters. Oh, been made privy to personal matters between you and Queen Galfrey. I will try to refrain from such intrusions into your private affairs from now on. The storyteller lowers his head sheepishly. I mean, no, I'm okay with you prying fussily. It's not like a secret, you know? Okay, let's take half an hour to sell all the shit I have. Uh, what is my current income? Income. Ha! Earnings, 217,000. Oh my god, you're still... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Absolutely funny. High weapons... Is that a weapons provider? That's been half an hour I've done this. I knew that having this uh, no weight mod would affect how much money I have in the game, but I really wasn't expecting to just do an entire chapter of the game and come out with 2.7 million gold. <laughs> that's just insane. I guess I don't have to worry about my army now. I can get whatever the hell I want. And my inventory is still disgustingly full. This stuff that I need to put out somewhere, you know, these coins that I'm no longer going to need. But I want three million. Oh my god. That's just insanity. Absolute insanity. But I guess we will continue on. Uh, I need to level on you guys. No, you just need to sleep. If memory serves, I don't need to do anything else here. I can just sleep and leave. Capture all regions. Bring Dare into the place marked. Visit the help. Yeah, which is probably going to be the first thing I do because it's on the way. Meet the free crusader. Oh, that's right. I've got to go to the uh, court of Peach Blossom first. Yep. Okie dokie. Let us rest first. And then I will go to the court. I have a quick way of getting to the court. Does anyone remember what it was? Where it was? I don't remember. You should face a tribunal for your desertion during the gargoyle attack. What business is it yours, huh? You're my commander, and I thank all the gods for that every single day. Good old Jeff. So, can't go through there. If I leave through here, can I go to the way. court? No, area exit. I know I can get there directly, but I'm just going to manually travel there. 
because I don't remember where in the city I go. Is it at the Citadel or is it down by the front gate? I, I don't really remember, so we'll just go there manually. You know, it doesn't hurt, right? So what's been happening over here? How do you guys feel about the desertion of early sunset because he was not who he said he was? Joyful excitement reigns over the island. The Free Crusaders are busy with hundreds of things at once. He hears songs, merry scuffling, bursts of laughter, and toasts. Araka dances and plays, humming a cheerful song. She seems to be composing it as she goes along. What's well, raining? Weaving in fragments she hears around her, and her song includes lines like, Glory to the halflings, and this venison stew is overcooked. Noticing you, she stops singing and cheerfully exclaims, Commander, Ivu, you're finally back. Well now, where is everyone? Hey, Scarenthal. Hey, Mimic. Come quickly, gather round. I need to brag about how Lyria and I punch all the nasty demons in their horned heads back in the abyss. Ivy sniffs the air. Ooh, look who's here. Dragonlings. The ones you have touched. <gasps> where, 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 where? Thank you, lying to me. There are zero dragonlings to be had here. Unless I'm just hella blind. I think Ivy's lying to me. But yay, I got to keep the dragonlings. Yay. And here I am. Remember me? Charming Minx, straight from the abyss. I promised I'd find you, and I did. The fox stretches a muzzle satisfied. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her. Halfling worry. Good to see you, Commander. How are you? Is anything left of the abyss? We won't want to go there once to blow off steam. Not wise. Just look at Ivy. She's grown so big. Commander, what are you feeding her? Can we have some too? <laughs> Maybe we should feed it to Scarenthal and Astriance. Just imagine. Gigantic walking trees that could carry entire detachments into battle until they got like fire arrows shot at them. Listen up, everyone. Lyria and I, and all sorts of our friends, went into the abyss. It was very scary and gross. Everyone was super mean. They all wanted to lie to us, or trick us, or kill and eat us. Some demons even kidnapped me, but Lyria came and saved me. And then we defeated a whole bunch of nasty demons and came back. We are very brave heroes, but don't forget that brave heroes also love sweets. A joyful clamor answers Ivy's speech. Aranka claps her hands. What an interesting story, Ivy. I'm so glad you're back. How things were going in my absence? I don't know if you've heard, but after you left, we were kicked out of Dresden. They said it was for- wait, I'm sorry, what? The minute I left Dresden, Galfrey kicked you out? Wow. Or even if it was just the Paladins, but still, that's insulting to me, actually. They kicked out my Crusaders. They said it was for our own good as well as the common good. It was hard for the Free Crusaders to live among the unfree ones. Well, I don't know about our strict, well-trained Paladin friends, but it definitely worked out for the best for us. We didn't have to look at their long faces anymore. In your absence, dear Commander, we mastered a new tactic. We regularly held joint military exercises with our allies, the Halfling Warriors. They charge from hidden positions in the crowds of our quick woods. We're learning to pretend to be an ordinary grove so we can cap trap unsuspecting demons. That's so smart. It was us, the Mimics, who came up with the idea. We are true masters of tactics. But demons don't go in because they aren't suspicious. Quite the opposite. They see a grove growing in the middle of the well wound, but how could a grove grow there? They fly over to investigate, and then we let them have it. Has anyone seen early sunset here recently? Yes, he briefly stopped by. He said he needed to find you, and that he'd come back after you returned. What an odd creature he is. It's. He surely is. I wonder where he is and what he's up to. I bet my tail will meet again. Wait, no. I don't want to lose my little tail. The only thing usual happen in my absence. The island experienced a few minor quakes. Oof, I hope it doesn't just plummet to the ground. Nothing serious. We all felt a surge of power and thought it must have something to do with you. Ilkis and I conferred and decided it must have a special connection to you, much like Ivu. She goes with her power and the island also changes because of it. I was happy to see all of you. Now I must go. Lyria, wait! Araka slaps herself on the forehead. I was so excited to see you return from the abyss that I forgot to tell you something important. We recently had a dream, a prophetic one to be sure. In that dream, our island learned to fly. Not just hover afloat, but true flight. It followed you like a dog on a leash. <laughs> Not like a doggy, but like me. Ivy pouts. By the way, having your own little dragon is way better than having your own flying island. Dip so. You're not wrong, Ivy. I 100% agree. But having both an island and a dragon is even better, no? And it's very convenient, if you ask me. Lyria, you can always return to the island to rest and recover from the filth of the world wound. <gasps> Yay! No abyssal corruption. I hope. And we can fly behind and help you if you need it. Here's the thing, Lyria. I think you should listen carefully to yourself. Perhaps you can figure out how to steer the island. Just in case, I'll tell the sculptors to stop working on the equestrian statues prancing along the edge. The island starts to fly, they'll all fall off. Yeah, and into anyone else down beneath. Wait for news. 
Wow, this place is amazing. Like, what's this? See, people train the cultists like this and they will start to shy away from every chair or bed they see. Is that a mimic? <laughs> I think it's a mimic. Oh, okay. Back we go. I don't think I need to chat to anybody. It just said wait for news, so wait for news I shall. Every one of the commander's followers is certain that something extraordinary is about to happen, but what and when? Indeed. Area exit. Would time pass if I just pick the Citadel? Because I know when it's been the time traveling south. You know? So, how might outpost you say? Where I get to deal with all those dicks. Good times. This time, oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. We'll do the new day once you are. Stop. Oh, why not? Is this the skeletal trader? No, no it is not. Oh, it's the mongrels. To slowly bear the moving, a formless figure shovels towards you. When it finally draws near, you realize it's Chief Sol. But the state of him, the wound has desiccated him, drained him of his last vestiges of strength. His clothes are caked in blood. His eyes are glazed and rolling in his head, and black saliva trickles from his limply gaping mouth. Sol, is that really you? Sol, what are you doing here? Um, Sol stares at you for a while, as if he doesn't recognize you, but his awareness slowly sharpens. Commands up, the Dresden. I'm going to Dresden. Need to gather. Rescue. He's easy. We'll rescue everyone, all right, Sal? The commander is back. Everything's going to be fine. You're alone? Where are the other mongrels? Savar Malek, his lair. They're all the Oh, God, we're going to Savar Malek's lair. Oh. Do you know where the lair is? He gestures vaguely in the direction he came from. There. He's not himself. We need to get him to the healers first. Maybe he'll remember something once he gets some rest. It's got what Sal to Dresden. I, like, barely stepped foot out of Dresden. God damn it. I know, right? You can make it on your goddamn own. Ah. <sighs> What a waste of my time. Talk to Sal and Dresden. Well, where is he? Is he going to be back down the bottom? Because it takes time to get to him down there. Can he just be in the Citadel? Can we just like automatically chat as soon as we go in? I am never wrong. What have you got here? Oh, life fighting friendship. Right. I'm always ready. Sorry, I just realized there was a gap in there, but yes, no, I do remember doing that. Okay. Looks like Sal is over here. Oh, it's traveling with my companions. I've never seen it do that before. The commander is back. So am I. I can't believe it. You must be charmed or something. I bet Savamalek thinks you must have died long ago, but here you are, wheezing away. Come on then, tell us what happened. We need to hurry. What happened to the mongrels while I was gone? At first, nothing unusual. We were just living our lives. But then the whole tribe got stricken with something. It was like a disease. Your arms ache, your legs ache. It tears you from the inside. Nobody knew anything about it. And then, one night, we all woke up. I can't remember what came next. I remember opening my eyes, and I'm walking. Out the gate, a guard stopped me and I say, Lord and Navy is orders. He doesn't believe me. And I just grab him and, oh, I don't remember. I really don't. Oh, you killed the guard. Sel shakes his head as if trying to drive away the dark thoughts. Like a nightmare, it was. I remember us walking a long way. I remember the white eyes of a demon, people screaming. It's sickening to remember. You can guess what was happening there. Savamalik, Savamalik, yeah, Savamalik, performed his vile ritual again. Yes, he fed them human flesh. And then, when that wasn't enough for the sum, he would, he would sting them with his poison. Ah. Those who survived became something else. Where were you want why were you wandering alone in the wound? I'm old, weak, good for nothing. Even for a demon slave. They poured blood down my throat and still I couldn't get the power all our tribesmen got. So the demon just said, Be gone, carrion. Let the wound kill you. You're on your last legs all the same. Useless I am. No, you're not useless. Savamalek underestimated you, but you beat him. You survived and you made the journey back. All I could ever wish for is to be half as tough as you are, Sol. Do you remember where Savamalek has held it up? Savamalek. I'm really not sure of the pronunciation there. Yes, they were ruins. Valley of Temp... Flesh. Temples? Valley of Temples? Hard to understand with this dude's accent. He called them. So Francis as he searches his memory. He said something about a city hanging over a rift, an ancient city. Valley of Temples, yeah. Sounds fun. The City of Eyes. Oh! Oh, well, yeah. 
Damn. Can I not get my mongrel sharpshooters until I go save them from eyes? But I wasn't going to do eyes for a while because that's where Gallifrey is and it's kind of like halfway to the end of my uh, list of things to do. It's a funny coincidence that we need to go there anyway. Although, it's not much of a surprise, really. The demons are either cowards or idiots. So that's probably why Southern Malek is sticking close to ice. So we can turn tail and run back to his friends if things get ugly. How are you feeling? Your time is short. It was always short. I'll bring your people back. Trust me. Cool. Go with Lan to find the mongrels. Yeah, it's on the list, all right? Certainly not the go-to priority. way down the bottom left. It's down here somewhere. Eyes is there. Ah, oh, there's the Valley Temples. God, it's even further down. Ugh. Oh god, my army needs to clear the way for me to get there. Ugh. Do you think I can get through here? Out of curiosity. Yeah, my army really needs to step up their game. How long until I get my commander back, by the way? Now I'll do this first. My general, Dead Men's Club. Soldiers who lost their comrades along with their will to live have founded the so-called Dead Men's Club. They leave Dresden to die in battle as heroes and deal as much damage to the enemy as they can in the process. Unfortunately, these actions ruin the officers' plans and undermine discipline within the ranks. Um... Let Ember talk to the warriors. Ember talked to the soldiers and convinced them that death was inevitable and could often be pointless and sudden, but these warriors were given a chance to die for a reason. The soldiers were inspired by her words and decided not to expedite their deaths. As for those who persisted in their desire to fall with honour, she did not try to stop them. I don't really know what that gets me, but okay. Ooh, lots of decrees. Oh, they're just things. The fate of the pin. Oh! This diplomacy. Okay. Choice effects in amulet. I don't think it's meant to say that, but that's okay. Eh. Strengthening diplomatic connections. Ugh. And royal conscription. This is repeatable. Recruitment growth for trainable units increases by 10% for 14 days. We'll take. I don't have any other leadership options, so yeah. You usually just take one day to solve. You're taking five days, and you're taking five days. Well, we may as well go in said order. What is with this? Diplomacy is just through the roof. Actually, my leadership is through the roof. Why? Actually, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. My diplomacy is higher. Military sucks. But then again, it doesn't exactly give me much in the way of uh, military. I don't think I have a single military thing here. Oh, it really doesn't break them up the way I want them to, but I don't see any military options. Anywho, y'all do whatever the hell y'all doing. I feel like I should buy more buildings, but whatever. And my army. Now that I have like a disgusting amount of money, do I feel the need to hire anybody else? I don't really, to be honest. I don't think I want any of these other people in my party. I don't know that's worth 20,000 gems just to I'm sorry, finance points, just to shuffle the number along. Is it? No, no, I really don't think it is. Hmm. I'll leave it as is. And my general? When do I get my general? Thirteen hours. So the next day, hopefully. I'm pretty sure that's what it meant. So, we are going... Oh yeah, the other guys. The other guys are meant to be scouting, though I really don't know how we're going to be scouting. Uh, take left us too. I need to try and figure out how to go this way. I'm thinking it's there. Um, obviously, my army will have to take care of that, but I want the general first. So I'll get you guys to scout ahead and go that way, please. And just understand what's happening in that direction. And then you guys, um, as I said, we are probably just going to go straight to the Hell Knights outpost. Um and see what they discover up there. If not, um, I guess we'll struggle out this... Oh, I can't. I'll go get through that first. Okay, well... We'll figure it out as we go. 17 hours. You may take the 17 hours. Push to save, Tay. Save. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, wait. I went past it. My bad. No. Okay. So that one decree is done. Finance a crusade, blah, blah, blah. I need to go back and go there. Yep, cool. And then we're going to do the amulet. Go for it. And supplicant from Chili Creek. Haha, -ha, we finally can go with Chili Creek. Okay, so after we do Hell Knight's Outpost, we will go the other way. Melissa, a fisherwoman from the village of Chili Creek seeks an audience with the commander to make a request. So we're finally going to get the outcome of Chili Creek. About time, right? Um, no. That. that. So yes, I got her back. Thank Christ. I was going to, like, cry. Um, okay, not really, but hey, yes, I never get to two spaces again. So we'll move you out once more. Uh, or I could just put more units across. Oh, yeah, it's going to suck trying to figure out how to move you. Um, so what do we have? I have the convicts. I really need the second lot of archers. I want... Maybe I should make a beeline for uh, rescuing the mongrels. Because I want my sharpshooters... Actually, I really want my sharpshooters back. So I might make that a priority after... And then we'll do Chili Creek after that. Because um, I, really, I need my mark cross back. I'm assuming that's what it's doing. It's not letting me have them for that very reason. So you can go there. Um, should I just put the rangers in? Because it's it's technically... Archers. Technically speaking. Oh no, we're still at eight. Uh, can I buy some rangers? No. I thought that might be a solution. But alas, it is not. Where'd that come from? Where'd the, where'd the energy come from? I don't earn enough energy for it to have gone up that quickly. I don't know where I, don't know where I got it. Hmm. Anyway, these things did shit. I can't remember what they did. And some of them I said I was supposed to be doing and just letting them churn over. Um, it's about last for three days. Um, there's no point using that just yet. You may as well do it when you're about to attack. Uh, what's the cooldown on that? I didn't... Yeah. 50% mischance. Two days. One day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, as units to the target army with a total value of that. Yep, that's the one. That's the one I just do every 15 days. Uh, how do I choose this army? This army. Hold on. Just... Can you move out? Just in case I have to click you there. I'm so confused. What am I clicking on? Adds units to the tar target army. So how to target the army? What do you mean unavailable? Huh? I, I don't understand why that was so difficult. Who did we get? Because we got to level 9. Did we get three more? You know what? I don't even know what we got. Oh shit, we got a ton of rangers. That much I can tell you. I didn't really pay attention to everybody else, so I'm not too sure. But that's cool. Uh, so we need to get past this demon army. So you know what? I'm just going to send my army up there. Although, as I said, I need my army to get down to the Valley of Temples. I don't know if I can. They're very high level armies down here. Valley of Temples. I've got to get through an 11 and there's swarms. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can even go rescue the damn mongrels just yet. Well, actually, I, I yeah, as I say, it doesn't matter, but no, it doesn't matter about the armies. The forts I cannot get through. But I should go down and clear the way at the very least, but I think we'll, I was going to say, I think we'll start up here, but yeah, I really don't think we will. Oh my god. 1200? What am I supposed to do with 1200? Holy hell. Maybe I should just get rid of that because it's in the way, but I can't get rid of that. 
Yeah, well, I said we're starting up top. Let's start out top. Okay, so guys, can you please, yo, can you please come this way? Yo, do you, why can't I click and travel? Go here, or here, or here. No, okay, manual it is. Okay, where do I want you guys to go to check the place out? I can't even do that because of the armies. I want to scout, but I can't. There's too much in the way. God, so many armies. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Just go back home. I can't really see a way to scout that's not going to involve me injuring myself. I suppose we could try and find where the path is. I don't know where the path is. Across. It's somewhere over there. Alright. Oh yeah, you guys gotta rest, my bad. Rest. Mm-hmm. Do we want onion soup? We learned a lot of recipes. What are you? You're a plus 22. Okay. Provides you with plus three cooking bonus to attack and damage rolls, all skill checks, and saving throws for a day. Holy shit. So it depends on my crystallized demonic rage. God, you may as well have that. Oh, wait. He might not succeed in making it. That's a problem. Chris, do you see same as you cast, spells you cast? So Acorn Pie is not too bad as well. Monster Casserole. Plus two motors to weapon damage rolls for a day. That's also not bad. Um, Timmy throws. Plus one cooking bonus to attack rolls. Cooking bonus to AC. Extra time before we need to rest. And um, yeah, good luck. Good luck. You know, I wonder, are you always such a nightmare, or are you making an exception just for us, Rap? You probably act differently around highborn folk. You're quite mistaken, my scaled friend. I don't treat people like dirt because they are of a lower station than I am. I simply treat people like dirt. All of them. Agreed. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, he rolled a three. To be expected. And no abyssal corruption. Fantastic. 